3A 2013-16. That you will please present this case. Yes, sir. This one is a little bit different. This is an actual rezoning case, which sometimes we're a little more accustomed to. This is a request by Mac Mackey to rezone 2.2 acres from M2 to M1. Property is located at 103B Avenue. This is a corner of the avenue and West Hill Avenue. Um, it is, let's see, about 500 feet west of the St. Augustine Road intersection. Um, on the screen and in your packet are the series of case maps. Um, this map on the screen now is the character area. It's what we call the regional activity center. This is something that we don't bump into very often, but this is one notch higher or more intensive than the commercial activity center, which we are accustomed to seeing. The commercial uh, activity center is the bright red. The regional activity center on that map is the dark red that encompasses the West Hill corridor after toward exit 16 and up Norman Drive toward the Mount Austin Mall. It is intended to be the most intensive of the land use categories that are mixed, um, that are non-industrial. Uh, Regional Activity Center also allows M1 zoning as a possibility, uh, but no higher. And that means that the current M2 zoning that is on the property is non-compliant with the character area. So we're down zoning to M1, certainly move in the right direction, and they are eligible for M1 zoning. Um, zoning pattern, you see M2, which is what the industrial zoning area is around it. Um, the history of this area, uh, as you can see on this map, there's the CSX Railroad Yard, immediately to the south, sort of parallels Hill Avenue. That was originally planned um, as an industrial park in between the railroad and Hill Avenue many, many, many years ago. Um, a few industrial uses did materialize along this um, eastern part, along B Avenue and also Hemlock Street. Uh, but not the heavy industry that M2 allows, but instead warehousing um, to accommodate truck traffic, which if you can imagine the proximity to the interstate, that seemed to be the more logical. So despite the M2 zoning, it has developed out as an M1 land use pattern, uh, which matches what the applicant is proposing. However, since those warehouses were built, very little has changed in that area in terms of industrial use, but instead the uh, corridor has become a commercial corridor, and many of the properties to the west um, but you see a glimmer here of the CH zoning, but in your packet it's a little broader map. Um, the, many of those properties were actually down zone from M2 to CH to allow the commercial development um, several years ago. Um, M2 is no longer compliant. M1 is being requested. Um, is a move in the right direction and is allowed. Um, the applicant in this case is trying to lease the property. Um, they've been unsuccessful in leasing it as a warehouse use. But they do have a tenant that has come along that is wanting to do a flea market. Flea markets are not allowed in M2, but they are allowed in M1. So hence the zoning change. Uh, because of the warehouse nature of the building, they are not wanting to down zone as far as CH, but retain the possible use in the future as an M1 kind of warehouse use. So that's why the M1 and not the CH. Staff is finding all of this consistent with the conference plan and recommending approval of the zoning change. Any questions for the staff from the commissioners? Yes. Uh, what is being proposed in the grass area? Is anything proposed? There? Nothing is being proposed um, in your packet, and I think on the site, you know, is the, the site plan. Um, they have barely enough parking to meet code requirements. It's a fairly large building. It's over 19,000 square feet. Um, personally, looking at the pavement area, I thought they could fit more parking spaces than what is shown, but this is the maximum. If they were to have extra parking, like a particularly busy Saturday morning, I suppose the grass area would suffice as overflow parking. It is not required to be paved as parking. Um, there's no proposal to change anything there. Um, if they were going to put something there, they would be subject to the M1 development standards. Any other questions for staff? There being none, is there any one of the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? My name is Mike Mackey. I'm here uh, not to add anything to what Matt and his staff have come up with, but just uh, to answer any questions you might have. And the, the owner of the business is here as well, Kathy Dozier, if anybody had any questions. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. All right, thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? There being none, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will now turn the
the discussion over to the commissioners. There being no discussion, I will not take a motion from the commissioners. Mr. Mr. Willis? Discussion on a motion. There being none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. All, right. all those opposed? All right, the motion passes unanimously. 